few years ago we moved houses and we kind of lost a few albums that we had there's some big events i remember in my head like my birthday when i was like 10 years old i don't have a picture of that so even remind me of whether i'm correct my memory is correct or not this scares me in a way because it's just me collecting memories from other people and trying to make it my own so asking my sister my mom like what was i like you know and sometimes when people tell you what you were like when you were a child it, it's like a little bit of projection sometimes and it depends on what memory they have based on their own experiences there's no like personal memory of yourself and that's something that scares me a lot this is why in the past few years i've been trying to document my life as much as possible take a lot of pictures videos make voice notes just things that would remind me of me because i think that our memory fails us most of the time i've been trying to be more intentional about how i'm storing my pictures my videos i am not just throwing them on the hard drive as i used to i tr i'm trying now to like dig them or tag them in the best way possible that way i can easily search for these things and actually refer back to them rather than just saying i'm going to so with my hard drive um i put a lot of videos on there videos from my phone and videos that like this or videos that i've made while vlogging i'm actually dating them by location or by the person if i've spent a lot of time with a certain person i'm going to like you know tag it by the person's name and myself that way i'm able to like just look at everything from like years back that we've you know all the pictures that we have together Because of my love for printed photos, I decided to actually get an album for my Polaroid. I, you know, was just dumping this in like an envelope or, and I was never really going back there. And I couldn't really just like look at everything. I had to pour everything out to actually look at it. So I tried to get an album. There's a way you can document your life that you want to actually look back. You're actually attracted to the life that you've documented and you want to actually look back at it. That's something I'm trying to do. So yeah. You're not documenting to show, you're not necessarily documenting because you want every other person to see it. So we're not talking just YouTube or anything like that. These are just for you. You don't have to put it out to the world, okay? So there, there shouldn't be that pressure. When you're documenting, you shouldn't like have to talk a certain way or act a certain way because you think that people are going to see it. You can just, you know, be free, be your authentic self and enjoy the moment while documenting it.